Hi YouTube world. Um, my name's Cricket and I recently had an angiogram. Although I'm not old, I do have some heart issues and I um, had to get an angiogram. I felt like I wasn't that prepared going in and it turned out to be a different experience than I was expecting and I had watched tons of YouTube videos and that sort of thing and I still felt like there are some things that I would have liked to know before I went in there. So um, I'm just going to dive right into it. Um, uh, first of all, I watched a great video, uh, which I'll put the link in the comments, about what happens during the uh, procedure. That helped me a lot, seeing uh, the patient not in pain and um, just seeing what they were doing and what it would look like really helped me a lot and I found that my own angiogram experience looked exactly like that video. Um, actually, I think I was a little more lively because you're on painkillers and I was watching the monitors and I was getting all excited about what I was seeing even though I had no idea what it meant and that probably was the effect of the drugs as well. Um, but the first thing I wanna say is before I went in there, it, they made it sound like it was like the smallest deal ever. So I kind of thought it was going to be like giving blood. They were going to puncture my my vein. They were going to put a thing in it. And I'd be walking around uh, just a few hours later. I had actually even scheduled uh, my appointment was at 9 in the morning. And I thought I was going to be done by 11. I was going to have a friend pick me up because they did tell me uh, because of the anesthetic, you're probably going to be a little uh, a little woozy so definitely make sure that you have someone can pick you up I had her scheduled to come pick me up at 11 o'clock okay so I thought it was two hours I was gonna be in a recovery room back home no that did not happen at all because um, you know absolutely you need to have somebody pick you up because the anesthetic has you knocked out but I was ended up being there until 6 p.m. so um, I had to be there at 7 a.m to, uh, I guess, whatever they do. They uh, do your paperwork, and then they put you in this like pre-procedure area. Um, I think they called it the short stay station or something like that. Um, got me all wrapped up, and then all of a sudden, like a different group of people came in and uh, wheeled me away around nine. And I ended up in this room, and I said, oh, are you getting me ready to go into the room? And they're like, you're in it, baby. I was like, uh-oh. So, um, the procedure went well, like just like what I was saying. Um, you, you're, I was in a beautiful spaceship-like room. The monitors were there. The, doc, the teams of doctors, there's like 50,000 people in there. It was, well, not 50,000, like five people. Um, procedure went well. Um, I had a, a strange allergic reaction, and I got super itchy, but I felt like good about my itchiness, so I was laughing about it, but then they were like, hmm, that's not normal, and they hit me with something like Benadryl, which knocked me out for like, um, I would say probably about two hours, because by the time I came to, again, it was 11.30, so I already missed my friend. Fortunately, she knew. She was in the medical industry, so she didn't kind of like bother me. So I was starting to come to, and I thought by one I would be fine, but the anesthetic started to wear off, so they hit me again with another dose of painkiller, knocked me out again. I ended up not waking up again until 5 p.m. So I was there from 7 to 5, and by the time my friend could come pick me up, it was about 6 o'clock. So it was a whole day ordeal, number one. So don't think that this is going to be an easy procedure, number one. Number two, um, the recovery is way longer than I expected. I actually uh, scheduled a date for the next day because I thought that I could handle. I thought it was going to be like, oh, no, like, I don't know, getting your toenails clipped or something. I have no idea. But um, I was not recovered the next day, nor the next day. I was in a lot of pain, um, one. But two, the anesthetic, I feel like, was still in me. I couldn't drive for almost two days. My leg was very painful. It's the leg that you use to drive with um, for the most part. So I, I couldn't drive for almost four or five days. So be prepared for that. Um, they did give me a pamphlet as I was leaving the hospital uh, called something like your post catheterization procedure or something. I found that very helpful, but that wasn't until after it was over and um, I read it and it said give yourself up to two weeks to recover and I am now at day seven I've, I'm two days away oh no actually tomorrow will be my two-week mark and my leg is finally 
uh, feeling pretty normal. I had trouble driving up until I would say two or three days ago, and the sw it was very painful in that area still, even though you could see it was um, clearly uh, getting better. Um, I, I really didn't recover uh, for a full two weeks. So I feel like, you know, I wish I had known that before I did this procedure because I would have arranged things much differently. And um, I hope that this is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to message me um, down below or share your own stories in the, com in the commentary because I'm wondering, am I the only one that never got any preparation on how to do this because I found it... Uh, uh, pretty crazy <laughs> experience overall. Anyway, hope this is helpful. Uh, give me a like if you did, and uh, check out that video about the in procedure. Uh, the in procedure procedure. It was it was uh, very helpful for me. All right, have a great night.